On February 4, 2024, FIFA announced the official match schedule for the 2026 Football World Cup. This is the first time that the tournament will be co-hosted by three countries, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. This 23rd edition will be the biggest FIFA World Cup ever, with 48 national teams, up from 32 in previous editions, 104 matches, and 16 host cities, 2 in Canada, 3 in Mexico, and 11 cities in the United States, 16 state-of-the-art stadiums. So, how will the competition be held? What are the key points that you need to know? And what are the most exciting host venues to look forward to? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this video. So, buckle up and get ready for a thrilling ride through the 2026 FIFA World Cup stadiums. So make sure you watch till the end. The tournament will start on June 11th, 2026, and end on July 19th. The group stage will consist of 12 groups of 4 teams each, with the top 2 teams from each group and the 8 best third place advancing to the knockout stage. The knockout stage will have 4 rounds, the round of 32, the round of 16, the quarterfinals, and the semifinals. The winners of the semifinals will face each other in the final, while the losers will play for third place. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to Game Arenas. The tournament will kick off on Thursday, June 11, 2026, with a historic opening match featuring the Mexican national team at the iconic Estadio Azteca in Mexico City. This stadium, which has a capacity of 87,000, is the only one in the world that has hosted two FIFA World Cup finals in 1970 and 1986. It is also the home of the legendary Diego Maradona's Hand of God and Goal of the Century against England in 1986. Estadio Azteca is a renowned football stadium that serves as the home for Clubs Club America and Cruz Azul, as well as the Mexico national team. It is a true temple of soccer and a fitting venue to start the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Five matches are scheduled in this iconic venue, three group stage matches, including the opening game, one in round 32, and one in round 16. Moving to the second Mexican host city, Guadalajara. The Estadio Akron is located in Zapopan, in the state of Jalisco, and is used mostly for football matches. It has a capacity of 48,000. It is the home of the football club CD Guadalajara. Opened in 2010, the stadium hosted its first major international event with the first leg of the 2010 finals of the Copa Libertadores and hosted the 2011 Pan American Games opening and closing ceremonies. Four group stage matches are scheduled in this unique venue. The last host venue in Mexico is Estadio BBVA. It is located in Monterrey, Nuevo Leon. This stadium is the home of Club de Fútbol Monterrey, also known as Riados. It has a capacity of 53,500 and was opened in 2015. The stadium is notable for its view of Cerro de la Silla, a prominent mountain with a peak of 1,820 meters. The mountain can be seen from the seats located in the northwestern section, providing scenic views for fans. Three group stage matches are scheduled at the Estadio Monterrey and one in round 32. Like Mexico, the national team of Canada plays its three group stage matches on home soil. Canada will kick off their campaign in Toronto on Friday, June 12, 2026. BMO Field is an outdoor stadium located at Exhibition Place in Toronto, Ontario. The stadium has a capacity of 30,991, which is expandable to 40,000, and it has hosted various events, including soccer matches. It is the home field of Toronto FC of Major League Soccer and the Toronto Argonauts of the Canadian Football League, as well as the Canada Men's National Soccer Team. The stadium is one of two Canadian stadiums that will host matches of the 2026 FIFA World Cup, with an expansion for the tournament that will bring the capacity to 45,736 seats. Six matches are scheduled in the BMO field, five group stage matches, and one in round 32. Another Canadian host venue is BC Place in Vancouver. 
It is notable for its retractable roof, which is the largest cable-supported retractable roof of its kind in the world. This stadium has a capacity of 54,500 and is the largest sports, exhibition, and entertainment venue of its kind in British Columbia. It is the home of the MLS club Vancouver Whitecaps FC and the CFL team BC Lions. It also hosted the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Winter Games. BC Place will host five group stage matches, one in the round of 32 and one in the round of 16, for a total of seven matches in Vancouver. One of the most anticipated matches of this World Cup will be the U.S. men's national team opening match on June 12th at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. SoFi Stadium is the newest and most expensive stadium in the world, costing $5.5 billion. It is the home of the NFL teams Los Angeles Rams and Los Angeles Chargers, and it will also host the 2028 Summer Olympics opening and closing ceremonies. It has a capacity of 70,000, but it can be expanded to 100,000 for special events like the FIFA World Cup. It is a marvel of architecture and technology. SoFi Stadium will host five group stage matches, two round of 32 matches, and one quarterfinal match, for a total of eight matches in the 2026 FIFA World Cup. Boston's Gillette Stadium is a multi-purpose venue located in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It has a seating capacity of 64,628, including 5,876 club seats and 82 luxury suites. Gillette Stadium serves as the home for both the NFL New England Patriots and the MLS New England Revolution. It is also the venue of the 2016 Copa America Centenario Semifinal. The stadium is set to host seven matches during the 2026 FIFA World Cup, five group stage matches, one in the round of 32, and one quarterfinal. One of the U.S. host venues is NRG Stadium in Houston. It has a capacity of 72,000 and is the home of the NFL team Houston Texans and the college football team Texas Bowl. It is also the venue of the 2017 Super Bowl and the 2016 Copa America Centenario quarterfinal. NRG Stadium is a versatile and innovative venue, featuring a retractable roof that can open or close in seven minutes. It will host five group stage matches, one in the round of 32 and one in the round of 16, for a total of seven matches in Houston. Arrowhead Stadium is located in Kansas City, Missouri. It serves as the home venue for the Kansas City Chiefs of the National Football League. It has a seating capacity of 76,416, making it the 25th largest stadium in the United States. It has a rich history, having undergone several renovations and hosting various events, including soccer matches. Arrowhead Stadium will host four group stage matches, one round of 32 match, and one quarterfinal for a total of six matches in Kansas City. Lincoln Financial Field is a football stadium located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It has a seating capacity of 67,500. Opened in 2003, it is part of the South Philadelphia Sports Complex and has hosted several notable events, including the Army-Navy football game, college football games, soccer games, and the NHL Stadium Series. It is the home stadium of the NFL Philadelphia Eagles. Lincoln Financial Field will host five group stage matches and one in the round of 16, for a total of six matches in Philadelphia. Levi's Stadium is in the San Francisco Bay Area. This stadium has a capacity of 68,500 and is the home of the NFL team, the San Francisco 49ers. It is also the venue of the 2016 Super Bowl and the 2017 CONCACAF Gold Cup Final, where the U.S. beat Jamaica to win the title. Levi's Stadium is a modern and eco-friendly stadium, featuring a green roof, solar panels, water-efficient landscaping, and recycled materials. Levi's Stadium will host five group stage matches and one round of 32, for a total of six matches in the San Francisco Bay Area. Moving next to Seattle, 
The Lumen Field has a capacity of 68,700. It is a state-of-the-art stadium, featuring a roof that covers 70% of the seating area. It is the home of the NFL Team Seattle Seahawks and the MLS Team Seattle Sounders. It is also the site of the 2019 MLS Cup Final. Lumen Field will host four group stage matches, one round of 32 and one round of 16, for a total of six matches in Seattle. The climax of the 2026 FIFA World Cup will take place in four of the most prestigious and spectacular stadiums in the United States. These are the venues that will host the semifinals. The first semifinal will be staged on Tuesday, July 7th in Dallas AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, which has a capacity of 80,000 and is expandable to 105,000. It has a unique design with a retractable roof and is one of the largest domed stadiums in the world. It is the home of the NFL team, the Dallas Cowboys. AT&T Stadium will host the most matches in the 2026 FIFA World Cup with nine games, including a semifinal, five group stage matches, two in the round of 32, and one in the round of 16. The second semifinal will be staged on Wednesday, July 8th, in Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It is a world-class venue, featuring a retractable roof that resembles a camera aperture, allowing for optimal weather conditions and natural light for the events. It has a capacity of 71,000 and is the home of the NFL Team Atlanta Falcons and the MLS Team Atlanta United. It is also the venue of the 2019 Super Bowl and the 2018 College Football Playoff National Championship. Mercedes-Benz Stadium will host five group stage matches, one in the round of 32, one in the round of 12, and one semifinal match, for a total of eight matches in Atlanta. The third place match will be held on Saturday, July 18, 2026, at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. This match will determine the third and fourth place of the tournament. Hard Rock Stadium is a versatile and innovative stadium, featuring a canopy that covers 92% of the seating area, protecting fans from the sun and rain. It has a capacity of 65,000 and is the home of the NFL team Miami Dolphins. Hard Rock Stadium will host four group stage matches, one in the round of 32, one quarterfinal match, and the third place match, for a total of seven matches in Miami. And finally, the biggest and most prestigious match. The 2026 FIFA World Cup Final will be held on Sunday, July 19th, in New York, New Jersey. The final will take place at MetLife Stadium, which has a capacity of 82,500. It is the home of the NFL team's New York Giants and New York Jets, and it hosted the 2014 Super Bowl. MetLife Stadium will also host five group stage matches, one in the round of 32 and one in the round of 16, for a total of eight matches in New York, New Jersey. So, there you have it. The 2026 FIFA World Cup match schedule, in a nutshell. As you can see, this is going to be an epic and unprecedented tournament, with 104 matches in 16 state-of-the-art stadiums across three countries, featuring 48 teams and millions of fans. This is the most inclusive and impactful FIFA World Cup ever, and we can't wait to see it unfold. But what do you think? Are you excited about this World Cup schedule? Which matches and stadiums are you looking forward to the most? And who do you think will win the trophy? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have a lot more content coming your way, covering the best sports events and venues in the world. Also, don't forget to check out our links in the bio where you can find more information and resources on the 2026 FIFA World Cup and other topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Game Arenas.